welcome to another video. It's your girl, Reverend Monet, and today we're going to be doing a new segment called Good Luck Freshman. <laughs> so, if a guy walks up to you on Kremlin campus and they ask you, do you smoke weed? <laughs> Good Luck Freshman. For the first one, if a guy asks you on campus, like, do you smoke weed, and you say yes, he probably wants you to come to his room or for him to come to your room, and nine times out of ten, he wants some cooter. So, not recommended. If you signed up for any 8 a.m., <laughs> good luck, freshman. Number two, signing up for 8 a.m. This is not high school, baby. <laughs> You signed up for 8 a.m. You're going to be extremely tired for whatever reasons, and you're not going to want to go. You're going to miss class. Just don't sign up for 8 a.m. Unless you completely have to. If you plan on buying books from the bookstore the first day of class, <laughs> good luck, Four. freshman. Number three, buying books from the bookstore on the first day. First of all, buying books out the bookstore, period, is not the number one suggestion of anybody who's ever bought books from there. They're extremely expensive. Try to get them online. If you can't get them online, try to go to class first because nine times out of ten, the professor probably won't even have you using the books. And then you just pay money for a book that you're not even using, which is going to piss you off. If you let advisors pick your professors for you and you didn't talk to any upperclassmen, good luck, freshmen. Number four, letting your advisors pick all your professors for you and not talking to upperclassmen. First of all, upperclassmen know what professors to take and which ones not to take. Always do your research before you pick a professor because you might end up picking a professor that's going to fail you. And nobody wants that. If you have a problem with doing things before they're due, good luck freshman. Five, do not procrastinate with anything. Picking classes, uh, going to class, don't, just don't procrastinate, period. Because procrastination is not a good trait to have, especially when you want to get some good classes and not have to take 8 a.m.s and be in class until three o'clock in the afternoon every day if you're super clumsy like extremely clumsy and you're in the cab <laughs> you look freshman number six we used to have glass everything i'm talking about glass plates glass cups and you know silverware used to be actual silverware and they used to wash dishes every day do not drop your food in the cab because all you will hear is this Before he comes over, he says, who's your roommate? <laughs> Good luck, freshman. Number seven. If you're talking to this person and they want to come to your room, and before they get there, they'd be like, who's your roommate? It's probably because they don't want to, you know, have that, oh, I know you're, I've been with your roommate and I've been with you, or I'll talk to your roommate and I'm talking to you too. They ask first. Just keep a lookout on that. If you have Professor Katherine Bonner for English, good luck, freshman. Number eight, if you're taking Katherine Bonner for English, I'm praying for you because that's one of those professors that's on the do not take list. <laughs> if you think that 11.59 means 12 a.m., Number nine, there is a difference in between 11.59 p.m. and 12 a.m. 11.59 p.m. means it's Tuesday. 12 a.m. means it's Wednesday. Turn it in on Tuesday, not on Wednesday. There is a difference. If you think that you're going to find love on Graham's campus, <laughs> Number ten, pretty much... Everybody I know on campus, well, not all of them, but most of them, are in their whole phase. They don't want to find love. They don't want to love yet. Don't expect to come to campus and be like loving basketball. Just like high school wasn't high school musical, college ain't going to be loving basketball. Get your life. Okay. If you think that after a long day of class, you're going to park by your dorm, Good luck, freshman. Number 11, if you think that you're going to park by your dorms after long day's class, it's not going to happen. Parking is scarce. 
And, and with campus growing every year, every semester, with them accepting new people, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. So you have fun with that if you have a car and you think that you're finna park. You be my guest. If you think that you're going to go get a snack from the vending machines, good luck, freshman. Number 12. So there is this nasty habit that somebody has or, or a group of people or whatever where they like to break the glass of the vending machine and take all the snacks. Um, one time they did it to me, but they left a banana in there, so I had something. They do break the glass and take all the snacks out, so don't be surprised if you see it. It does happen. If you have a roommate who just loves doing grown folks business, <laughs> you look freshman. 13. If you have a roommate who just loves doing grown folks business, if it makes you uncomfortable to be in the room when it happens, you need to let them know because people ain't raised the same way that you raised and they might think that that's okay and you might be like that's a no no but they think that that's perfectly fine have that conversation it's highly 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 recommended if you live next to or down the hall or upstairs or even downstairs from anybody in the building who's dirty you look freshman number 14 if you live down the hall, upstairs, downstairs, in the same building as a girl who likes to leave her trash or a guy who likes to leave his trash out in the hallway instead of taking it to the dumpster. The building can get a fine. Everybody in the building can get charged for having a dirty building. So if you see somebody doing it, tell them that that's not okay. If you have a needy roommate who always needs toilet paper, soap, lotion, lip gloss, pads, Shoes, if you guys are the same size. <laughs> Good luck, freshman. 15. Needy roommates. Don't be no needy roommate. Don't always need something. Have your own stuff when you come to school so you don't have to ask everybody for anything. If you have somebody that doesn't mind giving it to you occasionally, go ahead. But just don't be asking for stuff. During this college and we're all struggling, but you have to make some shit shape. If you have one of those roommates who just loves offering stuff, especially your stuff to other people, especially their friends who don't have. Good luck, freshman. 16. Do not offer your roommate stuff. I've seen it before. Um, you go inside your friend's room and she has her roommate stuff is over there and you just like, hey, does anybody want some of this? Or you just be like, hey, that? no, that is your roommate stuff. Your roommate is not there and your roommate did not offer it to your friends. Do not give it to your friends because it's not a choice to give. It's not okay. Personally, I had a roommate who left her, her milk in my fridge and uh, some girls got pepper sprayed last semester and they were like, they ran up to me and they were like, we need milk. And I felt bad and I was just like, okay, I'm going to have some, you know, I'll replace it. And I gave them the milk and then I was like, I started thinking about it. I mean, I texted her and I was like, you know, I gave her your milk. I come back to the room looking for it. I'll buy some more. I'll replace it. That's still not okay because she wasn't there when I did it. So she wasn't there right then and there to be like, okay, that's right. You could go give them the milk. That's not okay. Do not give other people's stuff away. Bad that's right, bad that's right. I learned my lesson. If you think that you're going to be your roommate's best friend, it only happens to a few of us. <laughs> Good luck, freshmen. Number 17, do not expect to be your roommate's best friend. Just because you guys live together does not mean you guys have to be friends. Does not mean you guys have to be soulmates joined at the hip, hang out all the time. That's not what that means. You guys can be cool towards each other, but that doesn't mean y'all have to be friends. Y'all could be just roommates, you know? Don't have to be, y'all gotta be, you know, friends. Y'all don't gotta be BFFs, BRFs, <laughs> best roommate friends. <laughs> If you think that is very, very wise to leave your stuff inside the laundry room unattended, good luck, freshman. Number 18, do not leave your stuff in the washers. Do not leave your stuff in the dryers. Personally, I have had an experience with that. I went to take my clothes downstairs and put them in the washer, and some girl had her clothes in the dryers. And you can tell when somebody leaves their clothes in the dryers for a really long time because the steam from the inside, like, it starts to, like, fade away and stuff. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. So I'm just thinking in my head, I hope she really do come downstairs and, you know, come get her clothes. Because she's she's controlling most of the dryers. Like, her stuff is just sitting in there. And I'm just like, dang. So I put my clothes in the washer. 
I went upstairs. I came back downstairs to put my clothes in the dryer, and her clothes were gone. So the same clothes that she had her dryer in, all the clothes were gone. I was like, okay, cool. So I put my clothes in the dryer. I go upstairs for like an hour and 10 minutes. I have a timer on my phone, you know. I come back downstairs. She's standing at the door. Is these your clothes? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, well, where are my clothes? And I'm just like, I don't know. And she's like, well, my clothes are in there. And I'm trying to explain to her, like, very, very nicely, sis, I don't know where your stuff is. I mean, the hoes have cameras. You can go talk to RS. I don't care about none of that. Boo, boo, boo. And I'm just like, but girl, I don't know where your clothes are. But I feel like if you're really concerned about your clothes, do not leave them in there. Don't have them just sitting in there. You're basically just telling somebody, hey, come look through my stuff because it's sitting there. You're basically telling somebody, hey, take my clothes out the washer. Just try not to leave your clothes so you don't have no problem. You don't feel like, oh, nobody should be touching my clothes. Everybody has to use the washers, just be considerate. Everybody has to use the dryers, just be considerate. The last thing you want somebody to do is to steal your clothes, and it will happen. If you think it's smart to spend all your Tiger Bucks in the first week, yeah! good luck for you. Number 19, spending all your Tiger Bucks in the first week. I know you want that Panda Express. I know you want that Taco Bell, baby girl. I know you want that uh, Krispy Kreme, just Krispy Crunchy. They just said Krispy Kreme. Oh my God, I want some donuts. I know you want that Krispy Crunchy. I know you want that Taco Bell. I know you want to go to the store and get a slushy, get a bag of chips or something, some ice cream, a Hot Pocket, whatever the case may be. Nonetheless, do not spend all your Tiger Bucks in the first week. They only give us like $280 for a normal meal plan worth of Tiger Bucks for a whole semester. This is where budgeting becomes a necessity. I mean, if you want to spend them all the first week, you'll have no choice but to eat the calf, and that's not fun. I did better the first semester than I did the second semester. You think that it's smart to wait till the last day to do classes? Good luck, freshman. 20, this goes with procrastination. Picking classes. When those classes open up, upperclassmen know to run up in there, pick which classes that they need. Like, they be on it. Like... Most oh, as soon as the classes open up, they've already, you know, did everything. They got the alternate pen. They ready to go put their classes in for the next semester. I would recommend doing it like that. Do not wait because all you're going to get left with is the professors that nobody wants to take because they're on the don't take list because they're going to make the class more difficult than what it has to be or because their class is at 9 o'clock in the morning and everybody else wanted to take the 11 o'clock and they want to take... You're going to get stuck with teachers that you don't want to take and times that you don't want to take the class. You're going to get stuck with Monday, Wednesday, and Friday classes. And if you're the type of person that want to finally have no Friday classes, do your class on time. If you think it's smart to dress accordingly to how cold it is at 8 o'clock in the morning, not taking in consideration the middle of the day or 2 o'clock, good luck, freshman. 21, weather in Gremlin. What the fuck is going on? Oh, hell fucking no. Oh, fucking no. We, what we not finna fucking do is, we're not finna do this shit. Oh, we're not as Gremlin weather. Do you fucking see how nice it is out here? I don't know if you can see the sky, but ain't no fucking clouds in the fucking sky. And this morning, it looked like there was a tornado coming. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Rebel Monday.